Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, man, I'm talking about this woman right here. This is Angel Reese. She played for LSU women's basketball team. She just came off a game, or came off an L to Iowa. The Iowa Hawkeyes in the NCAA March Madness Tournament. And I can say, man, I've seen a lot of hate come from this. I've seen a whole bunch of racism come from this and this whole thing, man, between these two teams. Like, First of all, I want to say um, I seen a tweet yesterday on Twitter, or X, what's what they call it now. But um, I seen a tweet saying something like, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese, this shows you that when it's talent, that men will come together and watch the game, basically. That's basically what it said. I'm, I'm quoting this. And it's true because – I seen a whole bunch of dudes getting into it and talking about it and seeing like it's a lot of hatred. I'm talking about on both sides, man. I'm talking about whatever you want to say, like on both sides, it's just a whole bunch of hate and just negativity coming out of this situation. I'm sitting back looking at it like, man, like I ain't no dudes care that much about females basketball, but they, it seemed like they do. And when I seen that tweet, it's it like, okay, I, I see that. I feel it. But I got to tell you where it all started from, man. It all started last year. LSU, they beat Iowa. In the um in the tournament, and she did this hand gesture right here. This is the Tony Yayo or the John Cena hand gesture. You know you can't see me, or you can't feel my face. Whatever you, I don't know, man. Y'all know what I'm talking about though. And she also did this one right here, the the ring, like kiss the ring or whatever. You know she pointed at a ring. And last year I seen a lot of hate come towards Angel Reese for doing this. I'm talking about a lot of hate. And so my people was like, this is unprofessional. But well, they're not professionals, but it's just tacky and all type of stuff like that. And it's like, damn. And this was last year. So it, it boiled over. So this year they played them again in the Elite Eight. And Caitlin Clark, she got the victory this time. A lot of people say that LSU was out coached because Kim Mulkey or Malarkey, whatever they want to call her, she didn't do her thing, man. This girl right here got a lot of hate. Um, Haley Van Lith. Van Lilith, whatever. They say she got cooked. They fried her on Twitter last night, man. About how just she throwing up the hand just out of the girl shoot. That girl, Caitlin Clark, was was busting ass, man. I seen it. I seen a very small piece of it because I could not watch the game, man. Um, it just wasn't that interesting to me. I seen a whole bunch of rebounds because the girls are just missing shots. Except Caitlin Clark, she was just killing them. And um, that's what I seen. It was like, ah. Uh, Y'all can have this, man. I try to, you know, because I've been hearing from each side, like, ooh, ah, ooh. We finna go out there and smoke them. We finna smoke them. And I'm like, okay, let me check this out. Let me see what they're talking about. What is the hoopla about? And they went out there and got cooked. LSU did, man. So big shout out to Iowa for winning and doing their thing. But just, like, the negativity, man, I'm seeing this. It's just like, I'm sitting back like, yo, because I'm getting, I'm, I'm old now, man. I'm getting grown and. Stuff like this just don't sit well no more. What's my man's name? Um, SNL alumni. Jason Sudeikis. He was out there watching the game. He doing the hand gesture. You can't see me. Like, he having a good old time. I'm looking like, who your horse in the race? I mean, I know you rooting for Iowa, but you ain't go to Iowa. You from Virginia. I looked it up. You was born in Virginia. Virginia, Iowa. Just a... Just a you going for your for your for your team, you know. So, big shout out to you from doing that. But people were mad, yo. A lot of people was mad, yo, at this whole situation. Um, a lot of people was mad at the at the two girls right here, Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. At the end of the game, they hugged each other. They embraced each other. It was like good game, you know. You go through the warm up line and all that stuff, and I seen a lot of people hating on that. They was like. I wouldn't have did if I was Caitlin Clark. She did all this hands. It's like, come on, man. They grown. Well, not grown. Them. Like, she won. Like, give it up, man. Don't be mad. So, it was a lot of stuff, man. It was just like, just from the outside, man. The outside world is hating on these people. Like I said, they, they a lot of them was mad because they hugged each other at the end of the game. It was like, that's what they do, man. You shake hands and stuff. But a thing I didn't like is when Angel Reese got on stage after the game and started crying. She tried to um play victim. 
This her statement right here, man. She made this. She said, I just try to stay strong. Said, I've been attacked so many times. Death threats. I've been sexualized. I've been threatened. All this has happened since I've won the, champ the national championship. And I haven't been happy since. Them her words, man. Them her words. She said that. I ain't like that, man. Because she tried to say she was sexualized and stuff. And, yo, this is her. This is her. She she do this for, um, what do you call this? Sports Illustrated or something like that, man. Yeah, Sports Illustrated magazine. She doing these pictures herself. She's sexualizing herself, man. Look at this. Just how she showed up to the premiere with the underboob or something coming out. That's you, you sexualizing yourself, shorty. Don't play victim, you know. She even did this right here. She did a TikTok wearing like this little, this is like a baby dress, yo. It look like a baby, whatever. She put it on. When I said she put it on, she put it on, man. It looked like it's painted on. And she twisting and turning and doing all that stuff, man. I'm talking about, yo. It just looked crazy to me. Look at her. Twerking or popping, whatever. All in Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. What's she doing, man? So I'm looking like, yo, you can't be sitting there playing victim like you was over-sexualized. Now, the death threats and uh, all that stuff, we don't know if it happened. You've been out there, you've been talking your, your big shit the whole time during the tournament. Yo, this was crazy, too. You want to be over-sexualized, but you're doing this. This is you getting a mold of your vagina. This is a, this a mold of it somewhere. Did you somewhere getting a wax or something doing that? And I don't know, man. Just like, you can't play victim and get up there and cry and shit. Like, you understand? Get up there and try to get people to feel sorry for you. When you out there doing this stuff. Tell me you over-sexualized. You doing that shit. So you got to relax on that. That's why I ain't like, that's the only thing I didn't like. But all the other stuff, the negativity, the hatred and stuff that came out of this, I'm, I'm seeing it in first person looking like, damn, this wild. They try to turn it into a, a black and white thing. I'm talking about on both sides. I seen black people saying some shit. I'm like, damn, bro, really? You, come on, dog. That's a little white girl you talking about. Then you see the white people saying something about the black girls looking like, damn. Like, it, it ain't unexpected. I'm looking like, mm -hmm, I know y'all y'all say shit like that. I, I know that, you know. I, I fought them still, but, but seeing like, nigga, you 6'8", black dude, buff. Talking about that little white girl. Like, come on, man. That's wrong. It's wrong on both sides, man. That's what I'm saying. I seen this stuff. and it, it, It's like, ugh. I don't know, man. It feel kind of icky. And they, and they fighting over women's basketball. Like, men fighting over women's basketball. Hatred. Black people, white people. Y'all need to um, get that shit up, man. Chill out, man. Just a basketball team. She won one. She won one. Now it's 1-1. One, one. What y'all going to do round three? Is y'all going to be in the WNBA when y'all do this? It's good for for women's sports because ain't nobody talking about nothing really in women's sports, man. I can't sit there and act like I watch women's sports, man. I don't. But this situation right here got me thinking like, yo, watching Batman and like, like that dude said in Batman, what's his name? Two-Face. He said, either you die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain. And that's exactly what Angel Reese done. She was the hero. Everybody was cheering for a club. Oh, she over there. Boy, in the face, bitch, kiss the ring, ho. You know, acting a fool, wilding out. Wilding out, having a good old time. Then what happened? She lost that game. She <laughs> and he up there and cried. Nah, don't cry now. Don't say nobody trying to sexualize you when you're doing all these photo shoots and you doing shit and twerking on TikTok. Hey, that's you, shorty. You did that. Gotta relax, man. Um... That's all I got to say about it, man. That's it. I was just thinking about it, man. I go live on the channel every Friday talking about stuff just like this, man. Y'all just got to come through and holler at me. Tell me how you feel. Tell me in the comment section how you feel about this. Um, did she become the villain? Did she wait too long? Is, is, is she in the wrong? Who in the wrong? We already know both parties are wrong. Not not the females. Not the, um, the athletes. Not the girls who've been playing. But I'm just saying all the... The black people and white people going against these kids. The kids, man. And like I'm saying, they even they fried that one girl. Um, Haley Van Lilith. <laughs> can't say her name. I could probably if I heard it a couple more times, I probably can understand it, but they fried her online for um getting cooked, getting fried by another white girl, you know. And she catching shrapnel. Cause she on the team with them. Mm, this is a weird situation, man. Just want to put my two cents in on it, man. That's how I do.
like I do on this channel every Friday at 9 p.m. Like I said, hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. Tell me how you feel about this. And I'll let you, boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.